channel this week we are visiting Malabone which is a very central London neighborhood it is one that has kind of always felt like really unique in regards to the neighboring streets I mean the Malabone High Street is like filled with lots of independent uh, stores and businesses although you kind of get a sense in the fact that it is changing quite rapidly that a lot more of those like main high street stores are kind of starting to creep in a little bit but there are still lots of like really cool interesting sites to see and one of the coolest bookstores in the whole city uh don't books they have a store there and that is where i purchased this book which i actually spoke about in my last video um and i have to apologize for calling it interesting if there is nothing else i learned from the movie captain fantastic it's to call a book interesting it's like an absolute no-no so um i have to say it was such an easy read i'm not going to give anything away but uh, basically it's just a woman who is a writer and she has been exiled uh to this hotel as it nears the end of like the high season so it's like late summer early autumn and i actually started reading this in late summer early autumn and so everything that i was reading was kind of like aligning with what was happening around me um just the vibes the color of the leaves etc and yet it is no longer <laughs> the end of summer is most definitely not even the start of winter and I finally finished it um but it's like definitely an easy read I, I don't know if I'd read it again but I don't read a lot of novels it was like the first one I had read in years I can't even remember the last novel I read that wasn't a reread <laughs> um because I only read novels when I was like a teenager but uh I am back to my non-fiction books um, with a book that I actually started probably a year ago. It's called The Storytelling Animal um, and it has got so much information. It like every single chapter has like almost what feels like many chapters within it. So there is so much to take in, so much to learn, super scientific that I definitely feel like I read a chapter and I thoroughly enjoy it but I feel like I've read a short book every time and I need to like kind of just mull it over to try and retain as much of the information as possible. Um, I apologize my voice is a little weird I have a cold by the way um, but it has truly changed the way that I view humans and our incessant need to be told stories to tell stories to create stories and whether i'm watching like a youtube or watching someone on a stage or listening to something even if there's not a story i can kind of begin to feel my brain switch off because stories are so just a part of us and it's really interesting to think about how stories have always been a part of the human experience even long before there were printing presses stories were told orally and so there are parts of the world where people would congregate and someone who was a storyteller would come there or they'd be there and they'd be reciting or relating a story that had probably been told hundreds of times throughout history and that is so fascinating to think about so it has really like i think has really changed my view of the world um but again if you're not so i know a lot of people aren't uh non-fiction so 
maybe see if you can find a blinkist on it or something i'm not sure i have to be honest in saying that i don't read a lot of books obviously uh the fact that i've got two books and i've just finished one after starting it like five months ago and i guess it's probably because i am just like working all the time my life is mostly about my website so i don't have a lot of like mental capacity <laughs> often for taking in more information than what I'm already trying to like learn to keep up with the necessary changes in in keeping a website going and so I probably listen to more podcasts than I read I love podcasts they're super easy you can kind of like switch them on in the background I also watch a lot of Netflix in the background but podcasts are great because you can you don't have to watch anything you don't have to worry about subtitles and so i love a podcast and so i'll probably be recommending podcasts in future episodes i do have a lot um but i again i love i love like a long story podcast um that is true so again it's like non-fiction podcasts i know there is lots of story podcasts out there now i'm just not interested in those um so let me know if you've been listening to any podcasts or if you have read the storytelling animal or if you've any, read any other like books about stories it's super interesting i hope you are well uh, there are a lot of colds running around and i think we've gotten to that point in winter where i i'm personally just like really grumpy and obviously i have a cold so i'm even grumpier than i'm normally <laughs> Um, but I'm just like really sick of feeling cold and having to put on like layers just to go outside. I hate it. Um, so yeah. <laughs>
Dawn Books originally opened in 1990, specializing in travel books only, but now they have widened their scope. So when you step in to one of these wonderful stores you can find books set in all these different locations which can kind of widen your eyes to the world around you and in 2010 they also expanded to publish books that had stopped being published which means you can find some older books which just makes us even more of a unique special place to visit mm -hmm.